Welcome back, this is Random Gamer. Let's see what Fixit Networks mod is all about. I have a guide on how to install mods in the top right corner. Smash the like button to feed the YouTube algorithm and make sure to subscribe for more content like that. This mod allows you to control, monitor, manage and automate each process of your factory by providing a network system and programmable computers. You can unlock every aspect of the mod by completing its tier 3 hub milestones. At first you must unlock the basic networks. It costs 500 cables, 1000 wires, 300 modular frames, 200 crystal oscillators and 300 silica, which both can be unlocked in the MAM from the quartz tree. And you also need one circuit board and computer, which both can be found from crash sites in this stage of the game. You cannot produce either of them until tier 5 has been unlocked. You can find all of the mod related buildings in the build menu under network tab. The basic network's milestone unlocks the computer case which is the centerpiece of the operation. CPU tier 1 for Lua code which you need to put inside the computer case. This is the brain of the calculations. RAM tier 1 which is also a must have in the computer case to store the data which is being processed. Lua EEPROM which is crafted in the crafting bench. This stores the Lua code file which is used by the computer. You must insert it in the computer case from the EEPROM tab. Network cable which allows you to connect your network components with each other. This is the core process of building the computer networks. Network pole which allows up to 8 network cable connections. And network manager which is crafted in the equipment workbench. This is needed to see the IDs of all of the connected parts of the network and also configure the names of them so you could easily make a difference between every component. You can open the menu by left clicking on any component of the network. After unlocking basic networks, 5 more milestones appear. Let's unlock all of them. Flow control which unlocks power controller which essentially works like a power switch or a relay. You can let power flow through it, but you can also close the circuit if needed. You can connect it to the computer network to even remotely control the flow of energy. And codable splitter which allows you to change the splitting behavior by connected computer so it can for example depend on the amount of items in a storage container. Input and output control which unlocks speaker pole. This is a network component which allows you to use sound to further immersify the warnings, for example. And indicator pole which allows you to determine the state of a machine or a program by distance. It has dynamic height and you're able to even stack them. You can control the color of it via accessing it from the computer network, of course. Modular input and output, which unlocks large and large vertical control panel these are essentially platforms where you could attach multiple different modules and use them as input and output signals to control your programs. The modules include the button module which can have different colors and brightnesses. They are used to trigger specific programmed events. Stop button module which is used to trigger important programmable events. Switch module which is used to switch a program's state between being off and on and potentiometer module which allows you to have rotation input value for your programs. You can rotate it indefinitely into any direction where every rotation triggers a computer network signal. Digital storage which unlocks drive holder which you need to put inside the computer case. This allows you to add any hard drive to the computer system. You can do this by opening the holder itself and putting in the next item in the list. Hard drive tier 1 which can be crafted in the crafting bench. This allows you to store a file system so you can store data between system boots and don't waste RAM. You can even use the hard drive to transfer data from one computer to another without the need of a computer network connection. You can also use a floppy disk which can be also crafted in the crafting bench. This is essentially the same thing as the hard drive. The main reason why you might want to use it is the ease of use. You can simply put it in the computer's EEPROM tab. And last, but certainly not least, computer graphics, which unlocks graphical processing unit tier 1, which you need to put inside the computer case. This allows you to render a character grid onto any kind of screen. Screen driver, which you also need to put inside the computer case. 
This allows you to add a screen display to the UI of the computer case and you can use the computer API to get a reference to the screen and therefore bind the screen to a GPU. Screen module which you can put on the control panel. It allows you to show graphics a GPU renders and interact with it. And finally large screen which you must build on a wall. This allows you to display anything a GPU can render. You can also interact with the monitor by looking at it and also clicking on it. The mod creator was kind enough to help me with a few setups to demonstrate some of the use cases of Fixit Networks mod. This is a power setup which gives you a live feed of the power grid just like the default power pole does. And this is a train setup which shows you the train track layout with the live feed of the trains themselves. That is just epic. It isn't perfect, but it is something. These are only few options on how to use the mod to your advantage among thousands of possibilities. Fixit Networks is certainly one of the most complex mods I have seen so far. It definitely adds great value to the satisfactory, especially when you want to control basically every aspect of the game with Lua code. The possibilities are almost limitless. The main limit really is the creativity and the coding skills. If you want to learn more, make sure to definitely look into the documentation of this mod. The links are in the description as always. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like that. Make sure to click on the bell so you can get a notification when the next episode comes out. See you on the next one.